Kala asks, how did the earth get formed? Which is an amazing question. And Kala even had a hypothesis that the earth came together from space dust. And that is absolutely right, Kala. That is how the earth got formed. So let's get an entire planet's worth of space dust to demonstrate. Uh, okay, it's not an entire planet's worth and it's not even space dust, it's actually magnets. Let's take a look at camera four so you can see. Here is the space dust, okay. So, these are actually, wait a minute, hold everything. We do not have the right background for this question. Hold on, let's get something nice and spacey. There we go, oh, spacey background to talk about how the Earth got formed. Okay, so these magnets are gonna be attracted to each other, which will help us demonstrate what happens when things are attracted to each other because of gravity. Now we normally think about gravity as being the stuff that gets, you know, how the earth sucks things towards it. Everything falls towards the earth because the earth has a lot of gravity. But when there's no earth and you're out in space, everything has its own gravity which actually has a big interaction. So everything has gravity all the time but we don't notice it because it's so weak compared to the gravity that's being exerted by the earth. But out in space, even tiny little bits of dust will have gravity because everything that has mass will have gravity. You, me, this table, a banana. Okay, that was, that was a lightning bolt, not a banana. The one time I want the banana, there it is, a banana. Although I gotta say the lightning bolt, the lightning, the lightning bolt is so much cooler. Yeah, I could keep doing that all day. Okay, so uh, where were we? Right, okay, so. The space dust is floating out in space and each one of them has a little bit of gravity, which means they will be attracted to each other. Let's go to camera four and take a look. Okay, here they are, floating in space and two of them get close enough together that they go zoop. Oh, wait a minute, they got, I got the poles flipped over on that one. They go zoop and they stick together and they form a larger piece of space dust. Now that larger piece of space dust will have even more gravity, which will allow even more bits of space dust to stick to it. So let's pretend that we're at the beginning of the solar system and everything is just sort of moving around. And you see, as they move around, they get sucked into each other and their gravity makes them stick together. And eventually, if things move around enough, it all sticks together. Uh, there we go. It all sticks together into a ball. Now I know this isn't a ball because magnets like to stick together in a line, but if it was gravity acting on these, and you can imagine a whole bunch of other magnets, or a whole other bunch of other pieces of dust rather, coming together, it would start to form a ball because they'd be coming in from all angles, but also there'd be a lot of pressure. Once it gets big enough, that gravity would start pulling itself all in together. And when you do that, like if you're packing a snowball, if you're putting force from every side, eventually you get a sphere, which is why the Earth is a sphere. And all the other planets are spheres, and even the Sun is a sphere because they all came together in the same way. Little bits of space dust getting mashed together into a bigger and bigger clump. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Phil, wait a minute. Are you telling me that the sun came together the same way as the earth, out of the same stuff? Then why does the sun shine and the earth doesn't? Well, that's easy to answer. It's just because the sun is a lot bigger than the earth. Not just a lot bigger, but a lot, lot bigger. Okay, so let's say that this is the earth. That means this would be the sun. It's hard to even tell how big that is Okay, let's go to camera five. Huh? This is, this. can you tell? Okay, camera six. Camera seven, there you go. That's how big the sun is compared to the earth. So like I, sorry, so like I said, it's a lot, lot bigger. And what happens when it's got that much mass is everything gets crushed really hard down in the center and all the little atoms come together and they get smashed together so hard that they create nuclear fusion, which creates all of this energy. And that energy is what we see as light. But believe me that if the earth was as big as the sun, it would also be glowing, which would probably mean a very bad day for all of us. So let's just be glad that the earth is the size that it is. 
If you have a really awesome science question to ask me, well, please do. Just click the link below and that will take you to the awesome science question hub. What is it? It's probably just Facebook, but you know, you never know. It could be like, you know, in the future I could create some, you know, really elaborate website, but yeah, it's probably just Facebook for the time being. Ask me some cool questions, hit like and subscribe, and in the meantime, stay curious.